family, thank you for joining us on our Sunday live service. We hope you're having an awesome and blessed week. If you are in the GTA area and are currently looking for a church to be part of, we welcome you to our fellowship. If you have any questions, if you have any prayer requests, or simply just want somebody to talk to, feel free to call us, email us, or connect with us through our social medias. All our links and details are in the description below. Now, without further ado, grab your Bibles and let's get to the service. All right, praise the Lord, church. Uh, it is a beautiful morning, isn't it? I can see all happy faces, all like fresh faces. <laughs> all right, we're here to worship the Lord. Uh, it, it's nothing about who, how we are or who we are. It's all about God, right? In the end, it's about giving Him the glory, giving Him the praise, because if you look at our merits, if you're looking for, you know, what we are or how good we are doing things, we might just, like, you know, grade us down. But again, when we look at what God has done for us, when we compare ourselves with God, that is what makes the whole difference. So thank all of you for coming here. We're going to have a great time of worship, a great time of praise. But before that, can we take a moment? moment just to say god i just want to thank you right can we just take a moment I, I know we've been like coming from different places different houses different locations jobs work family you might have been starting your day with okay what am i going to wear today or is it <laughs> or is it what is the lunch that i'm going to have <laughs> you know after church all these thoughts uh, they just it's n it's natural to have those thoughts it's not like you know, okay, I'm a, I'm a sinner. I should not be thinking that. No, it's natural. But then again, let's focus, like, like let go of all those, and let's focus a minute into God, right? Can we just tell God, I'm here in your presence, Father. Just tell him, God, the only thing that I desire right now is you. The only thing that I desire right now is your Holy Spirit. I just want, I just want to invite you right now in this place. Because when the Holy Spirit comes in this place, He can do miracles. When Holy Spirit comes in this place, He can do wonders. When Holy Spirit comes in this place, there is miracles happening. There is changes happening. There, the, uh, there's healing happening. There is deliverance happening. It's the Holy Spirit that that does that. So come on, let's just say, God, come on, come, come on, come on. I don't. Uh, I want to break the awkwardness, right? You can speak out. Like, you know, I think one of the hardest things about, like, um, like if you, when you're born in a Malayali church, like a is Indian church, you know, the first thing, uh, as a baby, right, if they make sound, the first thing those parents will be like, shh, this is like a church, you know, shh, you should not make noise, but you should not make any sound, but then again, I want to break the culture, I want you to speak out loud, you want to, I want you, like, if if this was not like not a church and at the moment and you're having a conversation with someone, you would be talking out loud. I can actually even like without even asking some people, like I can literally look at people's face and be like, I know how loud this person can be, right? So it so then uh, it is uh, it's just that w when we come to church, we just uh, you know just uh, like how we how what do we do? We just suppress ourselves. We just be like you know what. Oh, this is a very silent moment. I should not even say anything, you know. So it's just, um, it's just uh, you're just here to listen to the preacher, all the songs, and just go. But to be honest, church is a fellowship. It's where we talk, we have fellowship. Fellowship is mainly talking with God, talking with the people who are connected to God. So come on, like, I want, I want you guys to get 
like you know uncomfortable like it's comfortable to sit somewhere sit somewhere and just listen it there but i want you guys to say uh, like a little bit uncomfortable can you just say thank you god can you just say thank you jesus it's okay to tell him because he he loves to listen to you you can just tell god i'm i'm here god i'm desperate for your presence come on pour out your hunger for him whatever you ha- have the hun- hunger that you're carrying just tell him god I want your presence. I want to f- I don't want to go the way I just came in, but I want your presence to touch me. I want you to touch me, Lord. Can I have the worship team on the stage too? Just tell God, God, this is this is my hunger. This is my desire. I'm not just here just on a Sunday as a as a regular ritual, but I'm here to just connect with you. Because if you pour out your desire, I'm pretty sure Holy Spirit will touch you. Holy Spirit would want you to have a conversation with you. Holy Spirit would want to have an encounter with you. So just take a moment. Just take a moment and say, thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. me up when i feel weary god your love is that is the one that strengthens me come on just tell god how much you want him just pour out to him just be like god i'm desperate for you i don't want to be coming to church just to come here but i really want to have an encounter i want a difference i want an encounter because once you have an encounter your relationship with the holy spirit your relationship with god completely changes So just tell God like you know God I want you Father. I want you in this place. I want you in right beside me when I'm singing about your glory, when I'm going to sing about your goodness. I want to see your face. I want to know who you are, Father. I want to get a touch from you, Holy Spirit. Just tell it to God. Jesus, Jesus, we love you, God. We love you, Father. We love you, Father. Go and pour out your praise. Get a new song in in why the Holy Spirit holds. Say, Holy Spirit, I want a new song. Give me a new song. I want to praise you that I have more than I've ever known, more than I've ever seen, more than I have ever experienced, God. God, my only desire today is to just worship you. My only desire is to just look to your face and just say how good you are. We thank you, God, for your grace. We thank you, God, for your mercy, for your love that never ends, for your love that is so good. Come on, let your praise rise in this place. Let your praise rise in this place. Jesus. Every honor and every praise. 
coming back to the heart of worship because it's all about you it's all about you jesus i'm sorry lord for the things i've made it because it's all about you it's all about you jesus i'm coming back to the heart of worship and it's all about you it's all about it's all about you jesus i'm sorry lord for the things i made because it's all We come in your presence. We are here to worship you. God, we come with one heart, with one mind, with one soul to say, God, you are good. To say, God, I am thankful for your, for your blessings. With a heart full of gratitude, just telling God that, God, you're all that I need today. You're more than enough. You're more than enough. You are my provider. You are the one who gives me victory you have taken you are my comforter and that is more than enough for me god i'm here to just sing praise sing glory sing honor sing praises to your name god father we pray for the meeting we pray that your holy spirit comes in this place holy spirit we invite you in this place we want encounters in this place father we don't want to come in and just go but we are expecting encounters father we're expecting miracles to happen during worship we're expecting miracles to happen during praise we're expecting miracles to happen we're expecting a touch in the word when we speak, when your word has been delivered lord I speak blessing, I speak favor, I speak Holy Spirit. Let atmosphere change happen in this place. God, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Come on, church, can I hear it loud? Amen. Amen. I'm going to hand it over to the worship team. And let's go. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How many of you are happy to be here today? Before we start, I just want to—I just want to say a thought. So, like recently, I was—I saw this uh, thought, and I, it would really touch me, and I want to share it with you guys. So, when Mary, at the, uh, after the death of Jesus, goes to the um, goes to the tomb, she sees Jesus, and she thinks it's the gardener. And so, the reason she sees that him as a gardener is because Jesus is reestablishing reestablishing that relationship that was lost in the beginning. God was a gardener in the Garden of Eden. And he, that, is, that, that relationship was lost because of our sin and of what we did. He just reestablished that relationship when he resurrected. And so that really touched me because it really makes you think the power of resurrection, the power of the death of Christ, and what that means for us. And so today, we want to lay everything down at Jesus' feet. And so we're going to sing, we're going to worship. So let's all stand to our feet and let's worship the Lord. Apart from you, lay me down, lay me 
lay me down. I lay me down. I am not my own. Lay me down. Just keep singing that. Just worship. Do not look around. Just, just focus your mind. Just say, Christ, Jesus, I lay my life down at your feet. My insecurities, my stress, all the problems that I'm facing, I lay it down at your feet. face down at your feet. Just give him this moment. Just place everything at his feet and say, God, you are so good. God, you are so good. Every step of my life, every problem, every persecution, every trial, every temptation. You are so good. You have been with me through each and every step. God, you are so good. What did I do to receive this love? You are good all the time. Amen. You are good in every tribulation, in every trial. God, you are so, so good. So we sing, God is good all the time. He put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good all the time. And through the darkest night, His light God is good, God is good, all the time. Sing, 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 come on. God is good, all the time, we put a song of praise in this heart of mine, God is good time through the darkest night his light will shine god is good god is good all the time he put a song of praise in this heart of mine god is good all the time through the darkest night his light
so unworthy, still for us he chose to die. Chose to die. He filled us with his Holy Spirit, so we can stand and testify that his love is everlasting and his mercies, they will never end. God is good all the time.
Can we all shout a praise to God? God is good. All the time. And all the time, God is good. good. Amen. 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 So we're going to sing another song. You know, I love this song because it has so much, it has so much meaning. And so we were going to sing a different song originally. And, and I felt that, you know, old is gold. And we wanted to sing, I wanted to sing a song that means, has such a powerful meaning. This song, you know, it talks about why, why Jesus did what he did. Because he loves us, you know. Amen. We were sinners, still unworthy. Still for us, he chose to die. And this next song, it talks about because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, I can walk another day. Because he lives, I have purpose, I have meaning, I have a loving father. Because he lives, I have an opportunity to become an heir, a co-heir, a child of God. Because he lives, I am good enough. Because he lives, I am loved. Because he lives, I am worthy. Because he lives. God sent his son. They called him Jesus. He came to love. and die to buy my pardon an empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives all fear is I know He holds my future and life is worth the living just because He lives because He lives I can face tomorrow because He lives our fear is gone Because it 
one day I'll cross the river I'll find life's final war with pain and then as death Just gives way to victory I'll see the lights of glory sing it again gonna be pain and then, and then as death gives you truth you see the lights of glory I'll see the lights of glory and I'll know he lives because he lives I could face tomorrow because he to buy your pardon. He died on that cross to buy your pardon. An empty grave is still there. An empty grave is still there to this day. Because he lives I can face tomorrow Because he lives
God came to buy your pardon. Came to love, to heal. He didn't come for those who already know him. He came for those who are lost. He came for the brokenhearted. He came for those who are sick. A person who is well does not need a doctor. A person who is sick needs a doctor. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because he lives, because he lives, because he lives, because he lives. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives. We do not worship a dead God. We do not worship a God on the wall as a picture. We worship a resurrected God. Can you shout a hallelujah? Hallelujah. We worship a alive, a resurrected cross. A one who has died for us to buy our pardon. Our life is worth it. Our life is worth it because he lives. We have a goal. We have an objective. And it's because he lives. It's because he lives. We have a life worth living. people worth talking to. Prayers worth asking. Salvations for receiving. God did not come here. Christ did not come here for those who are well, those who are good. He came for those who are sick. Our motives in life should not be to just stick in a church, be with those who are well, go out into the world. So many sick people, so many hurting people, so many people with broken hearts. We were called to bring those to Christ. sing God sent his God sent his son he came to love he learned for good he bled and died just raise your hands and worship you He holds your future and because he lives. And life is worth the living because he lives. Can we all shout a praise? Can we all shout a word of praise? 
just shout a word of praise. Just be in that moment, be in that time where you're just worshiping God. Forget about everything beside you. Forget about everything that you came here with. Just worship God right now. Just, just worship God right now. Oh, come on, come on. Let's just sing worships to God. Let's just sing praise to God. Over shut. person here today. God, we might not know what goes on in their life. Nobody might know what the pain that they hold on to. The struggles that they go through every single day of their lives. No one knows the trials, the temptations, the struggles, the bondages. The limitations they place upon themselves. Lord, we pray that you will break those in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. As we pray today, we pray over each and every person. We pray that you will break the bondages of sin. You will break the bondages of depression. You will break the bondages of anxiety. Lord, we pray that, Lord, you will touch them, Lord. Man can do only do so much. We can only listen to a certain extent. You have been there. You have done that. You have overcome death. You have resurrected and that is the reason why it is worth it, why life is worth it. I'm speaking to someone in the crowd right now who, who thinks that their life is not worth it. They think that right now the problems that they have is too much. The struggles that they have is too much. But Jesus is saying, your life is worth it because I live. Because I resurrect. Because... I'm here for you. You might not be able to go to anyone. You might not be able to go to a person. You might not be able to go to your friend. You might not be able to go to your parents. You might not be able to go to your siblings. But let me tell you something. Jesus has won the victory. Jesus has won the victory over depression, over anxiety, over every problem in your life every problem that you think is unique, Jesus has won the victory. Let's just take some time to pray. Lord Jesus, we pray that you will work, that you will work on each and every person here. Lord, we are few in number, we are few in strength, but through your spirit, through your love, but through your unconditional salvation, your mercy, we have overcome. We have overcome every trial. We have overcome every tribulation. We have overcome every problem. Lord, the people you used to deliver your people, Moses, he couldn't speak properly. Gideon, the smallest man of the smallest tribe. Deborah, a woman who was seen as, as nothing less, as less in society. Mary, a woman filled with demons. Peter, a liar, a cheater, a fisherman. Matthew, a tax collector. Lord, you use, you use the weak. You used the people they said could never be used. You used the low in heart. You used the low in stature, the low in strength. But you used them to show the world, I am who I am. And I will use who I want. Lord, we pray over each and every person in this room pray over their problems. We pray over their anxieties. But I pray that you will work in each and every heart. God, whatever problems we have, we pray that we will come and lay them down at your feet. 
for you are good all the time and our life is worth it because you live. Lord, we sang this song today with our hearts broken, our hearts open. And Lord, we pray that you will touch our hearts. God, you will work in our lives. We pray that you will bless each and every one of us with your spirit, with your unconditional love, your unconditional mercy, and the salvation that exceeds all knowledge. Lord, we pray over each and every person. We pray for this church. God, we pray that you will use this church to minister to the brokenhearted, to those who do not see past their current problems. God, you, I pray that you will help us to become vessels for these people, to hold these people up out of their darknesses, out of their sins, God. I pray that you will use this church to go out into the world, rescue the hearts and souls of the broken heart. God, I pray that you will help us, Lord, to bring up these people, these people who are hurting, these people who are depressed, these people who, have, who are anxious. God, I pray for each and every individual. You have set a purpose and a plan. We might not even see it now. We might not see it in 10 days. We might not see it in a year. But I pray in your time, that you will show it to us. In your time, you will bring us to fruition. In your time, the seeds that you have planted will grow and multiply. We pray in your time, we will be able to go out into the world. We pray in your time, the flame that you have lit in us, the light you have lit in us, will be exponentially given to others. Lord, we pray that whatever we have in our lives, or the blessings that we have given us, Lord, help us to share it with the world, Lord. Help us to give, give, Give unconditionally to those people, Lord. Help us to love one another as you have loved us. Help us to love our neighbors, those who persecute us, those who hate us. Help us to love them, Lord. That is the message that you have given us. Love those who hate you. Pray for those who persecute you. God, we pray in Jesus' name that you will work in each and every person, Lord. I give it in your hands. In Jesus' name I pray. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen, Amen. Beautiful song. My life is worth living just because he lives. Because he lives, you have a hope, my dear child of God. You trust in a living God. He gives you hope. Today, can you accept this Jesus in your life? This Jesus will never forsake you. He will give you hope in your life. How many of us will say, Lord, I want this Jesus in my life. All of the names say, name so called gods have been died and gone, but my Jesus still lives here. He died and rose on the third day and lives in you today. That is our hope. That's why this is, our life is worth living just because He lives. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the assurance that you have given to us. Thank you. The Holy Presence of God is moving here right now. The Holy Presence of God is touching you, speaking to you. Give your heart to the Lord and say, Lord, here I am. He wants to change your life. He wants to bless you. He wants to honor you, my dear child of God. Just give your heart in the presence of God. Let's pray together. Let's pray for the city of Toronto. There are many souls yet to know Jesus. Lord, in the coming days, bring more souls, more people. Let them know Jesus. Lord, 
bless them. We pray for the city of Toronto. There are many children, many youth, many youngsters going away from the Lord. They are in the sin. But Lord, bring back to the presence of God. Give them the hope that their hope is in Jesus. Let them know Jesus, Lord. Let's pray, Lord, to bless us with the word of God today. God to speak through the word of God. Let's pray for the rest of the service. Let the Holy Spirit take control of this meeting. Whoever is led by the Holy Spirit, one person can lead us in prayer for the blessing of this meeting. Lord, to praise and worship you, Lord. Thank you for the wonderful songs you gave us, Jesus, Lord. Because you live, Lord, I can face tomorrow, Lord Jesus, Lord. Because you live, Lord, I know my future is safe in your hands, Father, Lord Jesus. I don't have to worry about anything, Father, Lord. Thank you for the blessed assurance that you have given us, Father, Lord Jesus. Thank you for being such a good father towards us, Father, Lord Jesus. Lord, hallelujah, I, pray, I give each and every person that has come here today in your midst, Father, Lord, I pray. You would touch each and every one of us, Father, Lord Jesus, Lord. Speak to us according to what we need to hear, not what we want to hear, Father, Lord Jesus, Lord, that it may bring us a, tr a transformation and a repentance, Father, Lord Jesus, Lord. I pray for the rest of the service. I give it into your hands. Holy Spirit, you lead us and you guide us, Father, Lord. Lord, make this church a lighthouse in the city of darkness to lead many to Christ, Father, Lord Jesus, Lord. I give each and every one into your hands. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, Lord, for hearing your prayer. Hallelujah. Praise all. Peace be seated. I want to welcome you all in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Once again, I want to thank you all for coming. And I believe today the Holy Spirit will speak to you. He knows your heart very well. I may not know you, but the Holy Spirit knows you. He knows what you are really going through. He wants to speak to you. Today, the song really touched me. Because he lives, I have a hope. That's why I'm worth living here in this world. Many people, they don't have hope. They have money, but they have no peace because they have no hope. But we have a hope in Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We may go through struggles. We may go through problems. But we have a hope that I will come or overcome this problem because my Jesus lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today, I want to speak about there are lames in our life that restrict the presence of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's read. Very familiar word we have read many times, but the Holy Spirit spoke to me in a different, uh, gave me a revelation on the word of God. Uh, Acts chapter 3, words 1 to 5. 1 to 6, yeah. Of them which entered, of which of them that entered into the temple, who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked the alms. And Peter, fastening his, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, "Look on us." And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Then Peter said, "Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk." In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise and walk. Amen. Praise the Lord. There was a person, was a lame from his mother's womb. From the birth of her birth, from his birth, he was lame. And this lame person was sitting on the beauty, on the gate of the church, on the temple. And this man is watching people going. Is looking on what happening inside, but he cannot go inside because of lame. 
my dear children of God, today the Holy Spirit speaks to you. If you need to re receive the presence of God, your lameness should go out. Praise the Lord. What is your lameness makes you not to come in the church? It's your attitude. It's your thoughts. It's your action. But today, the Holy, the Holy Spirit can change you. Praise the Lord. Nothing in this world can change you. Your attitude can change only by the presence of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My dear children of God, today you need to examine what hindrance getting into the presence of God. What type of lameness that I have. Maybe people need not know you, but God knows your lameness. You ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, I need this lameness to go out to receive the presence of God. Praise the Lord. <coughs> Hallelujah. The lameness this person had, he is watching people going. He is getting something what people are getting, giving him. That's all he can have. He is satisfied with what other people, they are satisfied by some little things that he has. Praise the Lord. That's what you want to live or you want a surplus life. Uh, you want a blessed life. Uh, you want need the anointing of the Holy Spirit uh, that you can move one walk uh, in the presence of God. Praise the Lord. Choice is yours. What type of life you need to live? You need to live a life just by hallelujah, just somehow you have to adjust and live your life or you need to really experience the presence of God and you walk in the presence of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you really need to experience the presence of God, your lameness should go. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Many a times this lameness, the type of lameness is different, but different from each person to each person. Praise the Lord. My lameness that hinders the presence of God is different from you and other people. But God sees today and speaking to you today. Let, let hallelujah, let the Holy Spirit intervention of the Holy Spirit uh, will make you stern up uh, and make you walk in the presence of God and worship the Lord. Praise the Lord. Here you see, this person was lame from his birth and he's sitting in the beautiful gate in the, of the temple and he's, he's asking alms and he's asking, getting whatever his other people are giving and he's looking people going and coming. He's seeing inside what is happening from outside, but he cannot go inside. There are many Christians who come and see what's going on and go. They cannot get because there are some lameness that is hindering to receive the presence of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What is your lameness today that is hindering to receive the presence of God? To receive, to go inside the presence of God. To go inside in the temple to receive the presence of God. Coming and watching and going does not go any good in your life. You may be Christian, name say Christian for many years. And you come and watch and go and say beautiful. It was beautiful. Today the sermon was beautiful. That's all you can say and God. But if you want to receive, your lameness should go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Peter and John saw this person has been watching and going, hallelujah, sitting here for a long time. This hallelujah lameness makes him not to receive, just to see and go. I need to do a change happening in his life. Only the Holy Spirit can change. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. John and Peter, when they were filled together, they're with the unity. They're walking together. See, this togetherness happens when the Holy Spirit is there. This James, Peter and all, when Jesus was here in this world, he, they were all not, hallelujah, they were not together. They were with the Jesus, but their attitude was not together. Praise the Lord. They each want things who is bigger. They have that attitude. 
But the moment they receive the holy presence of God, when they receive the Holy Spirit, that made them unity. That made them in togetherness. His attitude is the same as my attitude. John's attitude became the Peter's attitude. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He changed. They wanted to, they started to walk together. Hallelujah. It together. Hallelujah. What he thinks uh, is the same he thinks. Uh, it doesn't matter. Hallelujah. He may be different family, but the Holy Spirit made them together to think together, hallelujah, to walk together, to hallelujah, act together. Oh, how many of us believe today the Holy Spirit can only change you, my dear child of God. Uh, your wealth cannot change. Uh, your hallelujah strength will not change, uh, but the Holy Holy Spirit will change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When they were together, miracles will happen. Praise the Lord. In unity, wonders will happen. You don't have to do many. You don't have to be a big person to do anything. You need the Holy Spirit. The working hallelujah in between Hallelujah, the lame person and the Peter is not uh, his strength, uh, is the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. The action that is taken place in between them is not the money. Is not. That's why he said, I don't have a silver or gold. Uh, I have something different. Uh, that is uh, the action is Holy Spirit uh, that will do something miracle in your life. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Here you see, hallelujah, John and Peter, when they started to walk together. Very important is written there, hallelujah. The first word it says, uh, the John and, and P Peter and John went together. Praise the Lord. Very important because it's written there. Hallelujah, the Holy Spirit does not write, write just like that. They went together. Before they were not together, now they are together because of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Because of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the Holy Spirit is, makes you together, there is something wonders will happen. You don't have to do anything that it will happen together. Or when you are in togetherness, it will happen automatically. When the people, person come inside the church, uh, you don't have to do anything. Uh, it will, God, Holy Spirit will start working on that person. Because uh, when we are together in the presence of God, uh, Holy Spirit start working. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. John and Peter, when they started to work together, there is a lame person sitting. They understood this lame person is sitting for a, for a while. For many years, he's been looking, watching, getting something, whatever. He's satisfied. But more than that, I should do something. He cannot, Peter said, I cannot do nothing by myself, but the Holy Spirit that made us together, the Holy Spirit made us together before we were not together. That Holy Spirit can change this lame person. The experience that I have, the experience that I have makes a hope that other person will receive because I have received the presence of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. John and Peter said, when this Holy Spirit, uh, which we can, hallelujah, made me together, this same Holy Spirit can change uh, the lame person uh, because I have an experience. Uh, before, uh, we were not together. Even though Jesus was there with us, uh, we are not together. But today, because of the Holy Spirit that made me together, we can change this lame person. My dear children of God, why we speak about Jesus? Because we have an experience. Praise the Lord. We have experience about Jesus that have done in our life. That makes us to work for Jesus. Praise the Lord. We don't get anything. But that experience that I have received from the presence of God. I have a hope that my Jesus will change you. Praise the Lord. I have a hope 
because this Jesus which made me us together because of the Holy Spirit I will change this lame person even though he's sitting for many years doesn't matter this Holy Spirit that I serve hallelujah I know this will change you my dear child of God you may be bondage for many years but God can make you out of the bondage because I have an experience with this Holy Spirit Hallelujah. 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 See this. John and Peter knows we have an experience. Before, we tried many times, we could not make it together. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But today, that's why in Mark chapter 10, Mark chapter 10, verse 35, to 38. Mark chapter 10. Ah. 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 Thou should do us do for us whatsoever we shall desire. Ah. And he said unto them, What would you, what would ye that I should do for you? Ah. They said unto him, Grant mm. unto us mm. that we may sit no. one on the one on thy right hand and ah. the other on thy left hand in thy glory. Praise the Lord. This John and James, they are thinking about themselves. They are not thinking about other disciples. They want their best. But the moment they, under, they experience the holy presence of God, praise the Lord. That's why in chapter 2, Acts chapter 2, verse, verse 1 and 2, what happened? This Read fast. Uh, we will finish it fast. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they ah. were all with one accord in ah. one place. Ah. And suddenly there came a sound ah. from heaven as ah. of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house they were sitting. Praise the Lord. These people, all disciples sit together. They, hallelujah. Before they were not together. And now they are together. What happened? Holy Spirit come into that house and fill that place. And that made them together. And they understood, if this Holy Spirit can make us together, this Holy Spirit can change this lame person. My dear children of God, my experience, I know that my friend or my person whom I am in contact, God will change because I have got changed, because God can change, because the Holy Spirit can change. This Holy Spirit will change. Hallelujah. People coming to this church. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. John and Peter had a full hope in Jesus because this Holy Spirit which has made us together can change this lame person. And what happened? Because so many lame situations that we have in, that they, they trust us to come inside the presence of God. We come and see and watch and go. Oh, good song. Good message. That's all we say and go. Nothing happens because of some lameness. But today God wants to take it out, your lameness. What type of lameness that you have today that restricts to receive the presence of God? Ask the Holy Spirit. He will change you today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 This lame person, he was okay for everybody. Nobody cares. But the person who really loves the Lord, he wants a change in your life. Other people, they just talk and go. But who really loves the living God, he wants to make a change happening in your life. That's a good friend. Praise the Lord. There are many people going and seeing and giving him arms and everything. But only two persons, John and Peter, they really love God. They really experience the presence of God. They wanted a change in this lame person. Praise the Lord. My dear children of God, who really loves God, will see, he wants to see a blessing happening in your life. Praise the Lord. They want to pray about you. 
they want to speak blessing in your life they want you see, see prosper happening in your life only person who experiences the presence of god praise the lord how many of us shout hallelujah if you really experience the presence of god you will see happening a good things happening in other person's life you will pray about him you will see lord every step of his my friend or my brother or sister whoever not saved lord let him be a blessing because i experience the love of god that love of god let them experience though so that they can have a blessed life hallelujah only john and peter hallelujah could recognize the presence of god and see this lameness should remove only then he can experience the presence of god praise the lord our aim is only to give receive the presence of god only to bring people to the presence of god praise the lord praise the lord our main aim should not to get uh, boasted your poster should come or name should come no our main aim is somehow my person hallelujah the presence of god holy they should know the presence of god my friend whomever i get in contact let them have the presence of god that is all john and peter had they said i we don't have silver or gold but i have something in the name of jesus the nazareth hallelujah god rise up and walk yeah get inside the presence of god get inside the temple and seek the presence of god praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah this is the difference from a child of god and a different other worldly people a child of god who has experienced the presence of god every time he hallelujah has the desire that lord through me let the other person should know jesus that's all john and peter they don't had any other agenda they had only one thought that let this lame person should see the presence of god should go inside not rather watching the people going he should go inside and experience the presence of god God. hallelujah hallelujah how many of us today i'm going to stop here right now my time is up but how many of us will say lord here i am i want to surrender my life there are many lameness in my life that people does not know that hinders the presence of god today let i cannot change my lameness but the holy spirit can change praise the lord hallelujah lord i give my life to the holy presence of god let the holy spirit take over take away my lameness that hinders the presence of god i mean i know i know god i see i have i have come in the presence of god i have been a child of god but there are many lameness still that hinders the presence of going inside but i know i cannot change but i know one thing the holy spirit can change praise the lord i give my life to this holy spirit how many of us will say i give my life to the holy spirit there are many lameness my attitude my anger my stubbornness i i name it i don't know what is your lameness lust hallelujah greediness or many things what trouble it is that hinders to get into the temptations of god your wealth cannot change you that's why paul peter and john said wealth or gold or silver cannot change you but have something different that is holy spirit the same holy spirit that made us together made john and peter together the same holy spirit will change you today praise the lord how many experience that you have today 
with the presence of God. You will go back and see how much the Holy Spirit has done to your life. You have many experience, but today you have in the lameness situation. Ask the same Holy Spirit. The same Holy Spirit will do it for you today. Close your eyes and let's pray. How many of us will say, Lord, here I am. Here I am. There are many lameness. I've been seeing people growing, enjoying, getting whatever they're giving and I'm happy, satisfied. That's the way you life you want or you really want to have the experience of the presence of God. As this lame person rose and walked, not only walking, he went inside worshipping the Lord. That is what you want or just as normal, just somehow surviving or really experiencing or just to come and see and watching the my songs and going or getting the presence of God. Choice is yours. Choice is yours. If you want to get inside the presence of God, your lameness should go out. Whatever lameness that you have, your friends, your friend circle, or the way of talk, or whatever, gossip, or whatever it may be, I don't know. You take it out. You cannot take it out. But the Holy Spirit can take it out. Let's bow our head and pray. Today, the Holy Presence of God is speaking to you. He wanted to see you a new person. He wanted to see you as a new person. A changed person. God will change you. God will change you. God will change you. I request Dr. Raj to lead us in prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are the wonderful God. You are the mighty God. You are the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Lords. Lord Jesus, thank you, Lord, as a family, we have come to the presence, Lord Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for the wonderful message, Lord Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for speaking to us, Lord Jesus, through your servant, Lord Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah, praise you, Jesus, praise you, Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah, if we have any lame in our lives, Master Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord Jesus, you won't touch us, Master Lord Jesus, Lord. We cannot come into the presence of God, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, whatever, Lord Jesus, is lame in our lives, Master Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord, turn it, Lord Jesus, Lord. We want to become holy, Master Lord Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus, Lord. Every greed, Master Lord Jesus, Lord. Every selfish uh, attitude, Master Lord Jesus, Lord. Every angry spirit, Lord Jesus, Lord. Everything, in Lord Jesus, uh, pertaining to Lord Jesus, the worldly things, Lord Jesus, Lord. Remove it from ourselves, Master Lord Jesus, Lord. Remove it, Lord Jesus, Lord. We summit, Lord Jesus, we surrender. Everything into the hand, Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord Jesus, uh, we, uh, Lord Jesus, we want to be filled with the Holy Spirit, Master Lord Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah, the word of God says, Master Lord, in Ephesians, Lord Jesus, even the coarse joking, oh Lord Jesus, Lord, it's a sin before you, Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord, we confess it, Master Lord Jesus, Lord. Anything, Lord Jesus, bad, Lord Jesus, anything compromised, Lord Jesus, Lord, to the world, Lord Jesus, Lord. Anything we see, Lord Jesus, Jesus, we say, Lord, we live in the corrupt world, Lord Jesus, Lord. Our Lord Jesus lives are sinful, Lord, in nature, Lord Jesus, Lord. Like a lame man, must, Lord Jesus, Lord. We surrender everything into the hand, Lord Jesus, Lord. Oh, Lord Jesus, make us perfect, Lord Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, must, Lord Jesus, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We surrender ourselves completely. Lord Jesus, 100% surrender, Lord Jesus, Lord. We repent, Lord Jesus, Lord. We repent, Lord Jesus, Lord. Thank you for touching us, Lord. Lord Jesus, change our ways, Lord Jesus, Lord. The narrow path, Lord Jesus, that we are taking, Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit, you take, Lord Jesus, Lord. The Lord, wide path, Lord Jesus, Lord, is going, going to destruction. Where the people are, Lord Jesus, going for a party, going for uh, clubbing, Lord Jesus, in everything, pub and everything, enjoying, Lord Jesus, Lord. But, Lord Jesus, Lord, take hold of us, Master Lord Jesus. Help us to lead in the correct way, the narrow path that Lord Jesus that you have chosen Lord Jesus Lord thank you Jesus hallelujah Lord help us to be like you help us to be a light for this city master Lord Jesus and bring more souls into the kingdom of God Lord Jesus Lord Thank you, Lord, for speaking to us, Lord Jesus. Bless Pastor Koshi in a mighty way and use him mightily for the extension of your kingdom, Lord Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, Lord. In the Lord, coming days, you're going to bring so many souls, Lord Jesus, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Shagar bikaba dumma dri biantari karaba. Nikara baladuri bi shanka diri binga duru bikala rabi. Sagarimbi kabaduru balara barabi kabaduru bushanka rabaligi. Maguri bi kabaduru bushanka di ara baru banka di. O ribi shagaraba, thank you for touching us. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. Let your presence, Lord Jesus. Let your presence, Lord Jesus. Touch each one, Lord Jesus. Body, soul, spirit, Lord Jesus. Take full control, must, Lord Jesus, Lord. Lord Jesus, Lord, hallelujah. Lord, hum we humble ourselves, Master Lord Jesus, Lord. We should decrease and decrease and decrease, Lord. Let your Lord Jesus, your name should be glorified in our lives, Master Lord Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for touching each one, Master Lord Jesus, Lord. Delivering the Master Lord Jesus. Healing the Master Lord Jesus, Lord. Thank you for answering our prayers, Lord Jesus, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. We ask this most precious Amen. name, Amen. most beautiful name, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's say the benediction. Hallelujah. We close the meeting. <coughs> the love of God and the grace of Jesus Christ and the company of the Holy Ghost be with us in all the things we have prayed upon now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Shout an hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you all. Thank you all for coming. Be with you. God be with you. And uh, in a few minutes, we'll have our Malayalam service. God bless you all. Thank you. All right. I hope you had a blessed service. I hope that the Holy Spirit has touched you through the worship and through the word. Once again, I just want to remind you that if you are part of our online family and if you'd like to join us in person, all our contact information and address and location are linked in the description below. With that, I just want to say have a blessed Sunday, have a blessed week, and God bless.